to the streets again as parents and students caught up in the Watson Gishu overseas scholarship scam threatened to resume demonstrations next week. They say despite calling off the protest for a smooth devolution conference held in Eldred last week, they are yet to get any commitment from the county government on when they will receive their money back. And as Emily Tibet reports, the affected residents say arraignment of Senator Jackson Mandago and two others will do little, if any, in restoring their resources. After a week of calm in Eldoret after Wasengishu parents who were affected by the Finland and Canada scholarship fiasco called off street protests, another round is looming. The residents who are caught in the mess say they will resume street protests if the county government will not heed their calls and refund their money. We have been told that we have been able to do the revolution. We have Tumekuheshimu, <laughs> Halabu unapika kuchele nchele 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 hakuna kitu ulesema. Sasa wiki mbili ama wiki tatu patu kujipata machipu yote. Tunaumia, watoto naumia, watoto nakuwa hata nini. He? Na wewe nakaa tu, hakuna kitu wena kumboga tangu usu hiyo. Na wewe nalala tu kwa nyumba chuu kuropa hakuna kitu na, na, naona kwa hiyo asasi na tembea tembea na watoto. The affected students and parents say arresting was in Gishu Senator Jackson Mandago and two others last week is inconsequential as all they are asking for is having their money back. Tumempambana sisi atukuji kwa milango zenyo njini kama viongozi kwa omba. Tumetumia nguvu zetu, tumefanya kazi kwa bidi, tukapata pesa, wengine tukakopa, tukauza property zetu watoto wetu wandu ya kasome. Mbona muna katalia pesa zetu? If we want to have our money by today, County government of Wasingishu. We are on streets. Tutalala kwa streets. We are searching for our money. We need our money with immediate effect. <coughs> what will we use to pay our fees? Pesa ambazo nililipa nililipa November 31st. Katika hii regime ya Governor Jalilim. Na kusema ukweli, hii regime ya sasa wajue kwamba tunataka pesa zetu wao wako responsible na, na pesa zetu ambazo tunasitaka kwa haraka kwa sababu watoto wetu wanataka enda eh, another countries the angry parents have threatened to collect signatures to petition the removal of county leadership amuna hata aibu kwa hiyo ulimwengu wa saa hii kudanganya mtoto nyinyi kama serikali ya kuwa kwamba mnapeleka mtoto nje na nyinyi mnaenda kuiba pesa yao Tunaomba murudisha pesa zetu with immediate effect. Ama la sivyo tutaandamana, mutaibika dunia muzima, governor tumeongea ukasema tungwajia devolution. Senator tuliongea, ndiyo nye tunajua vile ilifanyika. Lakini sisi hatutaki kesi, sisi tunataka pesa zetu. Murudisha pesa zetu, atuwa ombi. Wakati Kenya ulipata uru 1963, akasema atawua fitu tatu. Masikini, ukonjwa na uchinga. Sasa uchinga meka mata wasingisho. Na ukonjwa hiko na sipitali, watu nalala, wasasi hii yote hii nalala kwa sipitali. Na watoto naenda streets ya uri ya uchinga, hakuna ilimu. We are going to marshal our wasasi na wengine tuanza kuweka second adjust to impeach the governor and the senator. Yeah. Yeah. Wasengishu Senator Jackson Mandagu appeared in court last week, even as the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission continues with investigations on who is responsible for the embezzlement of billions of shillings meant for the overseas scholarship program. Emily Chabetti is NTV Nairobi.